we're going to look at copy and pasting now. Um, you'll be familiar with the basics, I'm sure. But I'll just put a little bit of text on the screen. Um, we'll start with the fox and the dog. Um, and we'll put some of that text underneath using the technique that I've been showing you. We'll just have two paragraphs with five sentences in each. And then the text at the top of the document is our title. If I just add a little bit of formatting to that and make it centered to make it look like a title. Okay, you will be familiar with copying and pasting using the icons here. And remember, you can get them from the edit menu as well. Cut and copy. Just a reminder that if you're wanting to move the text, you can use cut. Decide where you want the text to go and paste. Or if you want to copy the text, you use copy. Decide where you want the text to go and then paste. What you may have noticed when you've been doing copy and paste is this paste options button. And we're just going to have a, a little look at that now. When we click on the paste options button, we have the default setting, which is keep source formatting. And you can see the text that I copied stayed red and stayed centered because the second where I copied the text to kept the same formatting as where I copied it from the source. What we can do is match the destination formatting, which takes up the formatting from the text around it. See the text formatting here was just simple black and left aligned. So that's the formatting that's taken on. So let's keep source formatting and match destination. And there's also keep text, but I'll show you a little bit more about that in a minute. Just while we're on this, we can also use the edit menu. Edit and paste special. And you've got all these options here. And they're the ones we've been using on formatted text. But you can also paste it as an object, for example. And you can see this time, originally I pasted it and it was just simple text. This time it's pasted it as an object that can be moved around the screen as an object. So there's lots of uh, options there in Paste Special and we'll look at one or two of them now. Okay, I've just brought the, the internet up. Um, I've been searching for some information about help and support uh, with Internet Explorer. And if I scroll down, you can see there's all the information that, uh, that I need to read. And I'm particularly interested in this section here on verification. And that could be really useful in my document. So I would select this text in the normal way. But just before I do, just notice when I hover over the blue areas, they are hyperlinks. So just bear that in mind. When we select our text, just clicking and dragging there to select the text that I want. And then use copy. And then I'll switch back to my word processing document. Let's get rid of that text first. Now when I paste, which is what most people would do when they're pasting from the internet, can you see what's happened? It hasn't just brought the text, it's put things in, in tables. Well, that's a nuisance. I didn't really want those tables. And oh, there's some blue text there. And oh, no, look, it's still a hyperlink. Well, that's no good at all. I wonder what I can do to fix this. Well, it's just taking charge. Let's have a look at the Paste Options button. We've got our source formatting. We can also match the destination formatting. No, that hasn't done much for me this time. Keep text only. Let's try that. Well, that looks better. That's better. It hasn't got a table around the outside of it. And those hyperlinks have gone as well. That's a much better option for me. So that was keeping just the text. And really, when you're copying from the internet, generally, that's what you want to do. Just keep the text. And then you lose all those hyperlinks and tables and strange formatting that the internet is. We'll look at that on the edit menu. Edit and Paste Special. And there's the options again. We can have HTML format, this time, which is 
the table as it was with all the hyperlinks in undo and we've also got edit paste special again the unformatted text much easier to work with to show you the next part of paste special in Microsoft Word I've just opened a spreadsheet uh, this is Microsoft Excel and you could you use this feature with information from any product really it doesn't have to be Excel I've got some information there that I'd really like to include in a word processed report it's about the number of ECDL passes over the years so I'm just going to select this data in the normal way by clicking and dragging and then I'm going to copy it and then I'll switch back to my word document and paste and then we can see it's inserted the text sorry the, the information from the spreadsheet into um, into a table in the word document let's have a look at the paste options button again oh there's a few more features here now we've kept the source formatting so it looks like it did in the spreadsheet we can match the destination table style which means it takes up the formatting from what was already on your word processed document you can keep the text only so it gets rid of the table and just leaves you with the text and nothing else you can see these non-printing characters I can switch those off makes it a little bit easier to see to show that you've just been left with the text we can actually link it to Excel that's linked information now so that if the information in the spreadsheet is updated then this information will be automatically updated too so there's quite a few features there let's just undo that and have a look at the same things on edit paste special again we've got a whole range of different options let's look at the top one paste it as so it says paste uh, an excel worksheet as an object when i click on ok this is an object now that is linked directly to into um, as a spreadsheet so when i double click on it i can actually click inside and and modify the data and then it opens up a little miniature version of Excel inside the word processing document so I'm still in Word but it's a mini spreadsheet inside there and just click away and there's my data it's been updated we could also oops we can also use edit paste special to pop it in as a as a picture as a bitmap so that's just a picture now it can't be changed it can't be modified just treat it like a photograph so there's lots of different options there it's using either the paste options button or edit and paste special have a play around with those get some information off the internet out of different Microsoft products and paste it in but don't just paste use the options button and paste special and see what you can do